We're going to be filming a video next week for Momentum, building our own homemade baseball. Now, when I think about making my own baseball, I think about three main components, weight, durability, and performance, which means I'm gonna make it similar to how they actually make baseballs. I'm gonna get some yarn, I'm gonna wind it around a golf ball instead of a cork. Now, I also need some glue to adhere this to the golf ball so I can start the winding. So I'm looking for some rubber cement. Thank you. I also got a little bit of thinner string for the outside of the ball and a couple needles to help sew the string to each other, I guess. I don't know. I saw a video of people making some baseballs and they were using needles and they were only two bucks, so I figured I'd play around with it. Next up, it's off to Dick's Sporting Goods to get a couple golf balls. I need the cheapest box of balls that they have. Yes. Check out this ball. This baseball is definitely gonna be shit, so I'm gonna use the shit golf ball inside of it. So the plan here is wind the red around the golf ball, make it somewhat big, and then wind the uh, white. And occasionally as I'm winding it, I'm gonna put rubber cement to like hold everything together and hopefully kind of create some layers of, um, of glue. That's kind of my thought, and then we'll see where we get. Now first things first, this golf ball's a little bit smooth, so I'm gonna put a little bit of cement on it to uh, hopefully hold the yarn to it. Now. now one thing I'm gonna have to be careful of is all the yarn is building up in one place, which is gonna make it oblong. So I'm gonna have to change where the yarn is crossing over as I rotate the ball to kind of even it out. All right, so this is what we got right now. It's a little bit soft. It's a little squishy is what I'm noticing. This is where we're at. What I'm noticing is that it's definitely squishier. Also, it's getting to be about the size of a baseball in my hand. It's still a little bit small. I think what it needs is some thinner string because there's a lot of gaps in there, which is contributing to the squishiness. And we're gonna switch to this uh, thin string that I have here. So you can see how thin this string is right here. Um, so hopefully this gives it a nice hard outer shell. So this is what we have right here. Ball's about finished. I don't like how uh, squishy it is. I feel like it's not gonna have very good exit velocity. It's not hard enough, but um, it's round. It's about the same size as baseball, just without the leather and the seams on it. So I'm probably gonna sew some seams on this at some point, the seams that I would want on a baseball to make it move a whole bunch of different cool ways. They're not gonna look like normal baseball seams. It weighs about the same as a baseball right now, probably a little bit less. I would put this probably like four ounces, four and a half maybe, whereas a baseball is five to five and a half. So I got a little room for glue there. So let's do that and um, see where we come out in the morning. It's the next morning and the rubber cement has had a chance to completely dry. This ball is still kind of squishy. It's a little bit tacky, so there's gonna be no problems with it slipping out of your hand. There are, however, some holes, and I don't know if the camera can see this or not, but you can kind of see in through the string and so those air pockets are what's making the ball kind of squishy and you can see how much it squishes and deforms. One thing I'm worried about is that when this ball gets hit or thrown, the adhesive won't be strong enough to keep the strings tied together and the ball will start unraveling. So I am gonna get some Flex Seal and I'm gonna spray it on here and see if that provides a rubbery outer coating that uh, seals the string together and makes the ball a lot more durable. Okay, so that is gonna be fully coated. It's quite a bit of flex seal. About an hour has passed since I first flex sealed it and this is what the ball looks like now. Now the flex seal looks to have done a really good job of sealing the outside. Now the ball is still too squishy. That's just because of the windings underneath, which means it's time to do a stress test of sorts. And this is just a prototype, but we're gonna do a bounce test first, see how it compares to a baseball. So as you can see, the balls bounce a about the same height when they're just dropped, but as you add some speed to it, the baseball bounces significantly higher. So I imagine as I hit it with a bat, it's not gonna come off with very good exit velo, but let's find out. First up, we got a baseball. 76.5. Now my guess is when I hit this, it's gonna be maybe 25% less than that. 70. Okay, uh, I was definitely not expecting to hear that sound and that ping come off it. That's gotta be the golf ball inside. I mean, 70 is not that bad. It flattened a little bit on one side right here, but um, it doesn't look like the flex seal broke at all. Huh, let's see if it wobbles. Yeah, so there's definitely a little bit of wobble to this, but 
I imagine as you're throwing it and hitting it, you're gonna hit it on different parts of the ball every time. So that probably isn't gonna matter too much for a homemade baseball. We're not trying to be perfect here. I'm gonna hit it again. This thing is holding up really well for just a prototype. Like this is gonna be playable. So 59 in the first throw. I'm gonna throw a baseball at the same intent to see if there's any difference in velo between the squishier ball and the baseball. First up, homemade. 59 seven, same thing, baseball. Well, I didn't throw the baseball into the gun well enough, but basically the exact same speed. So there might not be a velocity difference out of the hand. However, I do think that the homemade ball is gonna slow down in the air on the way to the plate more than the baseball will. There sounds like there's more drag to it, which means that the ball will actually move more and be tougher to hit than the baseball will, which I'm liking. All right, next up, I'm gonna throw a curveball. see if there's any difference in grip on the ball. Okay, actually I like throwing the homemade ball better for curveballs. My hand squishes in a little bit, so it's, there's more tension and there's more grip and the leather is smooth unless you use sticky stuff and my homemade ball is naturally a little bit tacky. I'm wondering if TrackMan will read the ball. I'm gonna save that test for the competition, but I would guess that the spin rate on the homemade ball will actually be higher than on the baseball. So here is the finished version. We got a circle right there. You can see it's kind of raised. It is like, kind of rough because the string is rough. So that'll go on one side of the ball and really make it dart one way or the other, which will be great. Ready for competition day, which is in the morning. So next up, let's check out how it performs. All right, we got the track man running. I'm warm. Let's throw a couple of these prototypes, see how much movement I can get. First up, turbo sinkers. That thing moves a lot. Let's try again. Turbo sinker. Let's see if I throw a strike. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as nasty. No, didn't have as much run. I gotta get my hand out. Oh! Better. Dude, that's gross. How's that? These are reading on TrackMan, yeah. zero vertical movement, 24 inches horizontal. <laughs> this is nuts. All right, let's throw a uh, four seam. Four seam? Yeah, see if I can keep it straight. Oh my god. Yes. Dude, that four seam was 25 inches vert, zero horizontal. That's nuts. You cannot hit this, Eric. I'll hit a 450. Oh, look at that ride cut. So when I want to throw the turbo sinker, I hold it like this and it breaks away from the patch. So when I want to throw the four seam, I th hold it like this. So we're going to try a curveball now. Oh, dude, that was... That was gross. That's gross. That was gross. I should have entered this ball into the competition. All right, minus seven vertical, minus 15 horizontal. So more of a slider. Let's try to get top down. Oh, yes. Dude, that's gross. That is disgusting. Scary time. Oh, 81. 81. You want to hit that? I don't. Are you cool if I hit it? I'm yeah. not hit it. Let's go. All right, so this is uh, this is way too fun. Eric's gonna step in the box just to hit a couple real quick. We gotta get back to the challenge, but I wanna punch him out with this. I'm actually gonna try to hit a nuke then, okay? Okay, I'm gonna try to strike you out, so. That's fine. Cool, I'm going uh, turbo sinker. <laughs> That's nasty. No, it's not. I would've hit it. What are you talking about? I almost hit it. I made contact with it. <laughs> That's 0-1. All right, cool, we're going, uh, we're going turbo sinker again. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that skimmed my fat. I could feel the skimming off my fat. That's my box, asshole. Dude. All right, we'll call it 1-1. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> one, one. Nope, I mean, it does stay up, though. It, move, it, like, it moves a lot. It moves like a cutter. 2-1, right? <laughs> Can you throw it like over there? <laughs> oh. That's a ball, right? That's, That's a ball. ball. It's up. It's up. 3-1? Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Go strike, asshole. <laughs> How did you hit that behind <laughs> you? <laughs> that moves so much. That almost hit your fist. All right, it's 3-2. This is my chance. I'm going four seam because Eric doesn't want the two seam. I got to get him with the rise ball here. Oh, yeah! No, 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 no. The rise ball! Yes! Struck him out with the homemade ball. That was disgusting, <laughs> dude. 
It just kept on going. All right, so the results are in. This is not my new favorite baseball to throw. I'm definitely throwing live ABs with this, but uh, back to the competition. That's it for the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Check out this last video. See you guys in the next one.